What's up guys, we're back for the second episode of Stein's Gate. Okay, so let's go over what I know so far. The MC Ocarin has a lab where he and two friends work on gadgets, but they're useless. And then one day a satellite crashes on top of a building. He apparently witnesses that event around like three times. One, when he heard a sound in the building, ran to the roof and he saw the satellite there. Two, apparently he also watched it on TV on the news. And then the third time was after he sent a text message, a text message that talked about a girl getting stabbed. But after he sent it, every other person suddenly vanished. And then again, he witnessed the satellite. And then next thing you know, the girl he saw who was stabbed is alive. And also the girl was talking about how Ocarin wanted to tell her something, even though they had actually never met. Yeah, it's a mess right now. <laughs> Well, let's get into the second episode and hope that it explains a couple of things. Yeah, man, things are crazy right now. Uh, should you really go around touching people like that? Yo, bro, like, hold on, man, you're gonna get arrested. Yeah, man, she's gonna think that you do, like, hard drugs or something. Why is she just staring like that? Does she know something about this? Oh, he actually went to the classroom to watch her? This is getting creepy now. Wait, speak about time machines? But does she really though? Or is she being paid to say that, man? We never know. Alright, so he believes in time machines, clearly. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of seem impossible. But, are they not going to show his discussion? I want to see what they have to say. <laughs> well, uh, I think we know who lost this. Okay, she got him good. <laughs> oh, again with the organization. Hey man, if you believe in time travel, then keep working on it. No one's gonna stop you. What the hell should little girls be doing this? <laughs> oh, never mind, they look kind of old. Her groceries? What, that's what you called them for? Hey, I mean, free stuff is free stuff. The hell, why, why would Kyoma want her to swing swords every day? Get in power? What is he, a sensei now? Exorcism? Why would he want that? What? Yo, don't say that. What if she cuts off your arm? <laughs> what, does he have crush on her? What? Is he... Is he being for real? <laughs> oh, no. I do not even want to think about the fan art. <laughs> Why would they want to go there? Well, I wonder what her... What she does at work. You're a screamo? Where? Oh, at the building they were last episode. So that means it didn't happen. Yep, looks like it's only this guy. <laughs> Oh my god, why would he say that? Look how buff that guy is. I'm guessing this is the part-timer he was interviewing. 
Wait, it was that easy? <laughs> Intelligence corn? How does she not know what corn looks like? Damn, this uh, organization thing is really affecting his life, man. He should go to a psychologist. <laughs> So that's his goal, huh? <laughs> that's a pretty big goal. Yep, that's a corn. Which for some reason you haven't seen. <laughs> Alright, so the crash did happen, but... Wait. So not even the conference happened? I mean, he does work in the lab. He could, like, sniff some... Dangerous gas or something, you never know. That's the guy with the time travel theory, right? So what, this guy writes in forums and stuff? What the hell are they saying, dude? I'm glad he's so passionate about uh, this whole time travel thing. <laughs> Yep, time is complicated. Yeah, but how do you come back from the future is the problem. Yeah, nobody believes him probably. Yeah, he just randomly came saying he's from 2036. Does he have any evidence? What, so he's not even that famous? What? Wait, 56 results now? What the hell? Yo, it seems like the future is changing? What is happening to this guy's world? Oh my god, yo! Come on, 12 results showed up. What did they say? What the hell? Is this even the real John Tiger? Wait, was she just taking pictures of him? Yeah, it's an invasion of privacy. Oh, she knows something. Wait. It's happening to her too? But he doesn't? Could this be something that like she remembers which suddenly vanished kind of like Akarin and John Titer? She's acting uh, pretty strange. Skylight's going to maid cafes? Wow. <laughs> You know what I would probably too if I lived in Japan. Oh, so he has a friend who works here. <laughs> she believes in the organization? Probably because she has a crush on him, huh? Oh, he doesn't let her. <laughs> What the hell, man? Ooh. Okay, so this did exist. Is it that valuable? Oh, okay, yeah. Makes sense. To who though? I'm so no one even knows who bought it. Yeah, there's something more to that computer, isn't there? The world is in danger. Damn, what the hell did his microwave do? 
You really need donations to buy bananas? <laughs> I mean, what the hell is, is its true power supposed to even do? <laughs> is it gonna be green like always? What the? Did he accidentally make a teleportation device? Oh. See, if it is that revolutionary, but where'd it go? Uh. Alright, so obviously there's some sort of time travel thing going on right now. See, it's good that some someone else witnessed this. What the hell? How did she get in here? Did she see all of that? Well, no questions were answered. <laughs> so it seems like Ocarin sort of has the ability to like time travel. Happened in the first episode, now it happened with a banana. <laughs> so if you look at what happened with the banana, what is it? You changed the banana on a molecular level and then you took it back in time a couple minutes, but it kept its past structure. So if a human were to try it, then they would go to the past and they would keep their memories and age and well, basically they would be normal. So Ocarin could have the base for a time travel machine right here. He just needs to work more on it and see how to make it reliable. And as we saw, he has two witnesses. Come on, after you saw that, how are you not gonna believe that time travel is possible? See, since all three of them are scientists, I imagine that they're going to start working together because yeah, we know uh, Kurisu gave her whole speech and said that time travel is impossible But after what she just witnessed it could change her whole mindset and then there's this whole John Titer situation a self-proclaimed traveler So basically a crazy person <laughs> who Ocarin remembers and then out of nowhere It seems like he never existed the books which were published about him suddenly vanished So what's happening here is that someone went back in time changed an event and time instead of being in a straight line has divided the question is who did that and how is ocarin changing the future without even knowing it i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see i'll see you guys in the next episode and i hope you guys stick around